Talk to me, man. Uh, no, I think money will definitely be my final answer. I'll give you my final answer on money, 100%. Don't give it to me. Pure monophys. We are pure monophys. We don't believe that you know, any creation to become a god or deity or anything like that. Because God, God, um, according to the Bible, God is a jealous God. He doesn't want anybody to worship, you know, man or, or idols or whatever. What was the point of what, what was the point of God sending prophets and messengers? Yeah, to all to, to the mankind. It's to guide them. Come back to worship one oneness of Allah. Do you understand? Yeah, who's who's teaching all the prophets and messengers? Tell your people, forget about that, come back to worship one Allah. Do you understand? And that's what Islam is. That's what Muslim is. So we believe in Noah, Isaac, Ismail, you know, uh, um, you know, uh, Ibrahim and everyone else, you know, you know, Jesus and the last prophet is Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And he is the last with the final message. There was, there's not, there's not going to be new religion coming after them. And he came for the whole of mankind, bro. Do you understand? And Islam, another great thing about Islam is, we don't believe in like racism or anything like that. Do you understand? You're my brother, in faith, in brother, you know? Or, or, I gotta bring color into you. this. There's nothing like that, bro. Do you understand? No. I didn't even know it's his color. Now you made it into a race thing. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying, bro? Yeah? So that's, that's the beauty of Islam, my brother, yeah? Simon, you've had time to think about it. You do come back. Monday. Huh? Monday. 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 No, don't, don't procrastinate. That's a shaitan playing with your mind, bro. Allah, one day will be my final answer. What if we don't make it for Monday, then what? There is, shall I tell you, I, I suspect, yeah, you're planning on some, some things on New Year's Eve, yeah? I'm saying, yeah, things go mad. You know, you know Eid, right? How many people died on each day? Yeah? I'm saying to you, Wallahi, I've never had anyone who's taken the Shahada and regretted it. They only regret delaying it. Can you imagine the good deeds you've missed out on now? From that day to today. That's four days worth of ajr. Yeah. Now you want to delay it more. I think Monday will be my final answer. Why delay? I don't know. I give think me, Monday me. will be my final answer. Give me, I'll give be me. I would say no. At the end day, whatever you're planning, yeah, keep it within means. Yeah, don't, don't go over the top. Yeah, take the shahada now, because at least you're 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 like, you know, in Islam, yeah, you take your shahada, all your sins are wiped. Yeah? Then we sin. Then we follow up a evil deed with a good deed, and it wipes out the evil deed. Yeah? Or take the shahada. We sin. We sin. We sin. We sin. Then we turn back to Allah and we repent, and it wipes it out again. Then we sin again. Then we ask for forgiveness again. Allah forgives again. Yeah? Again, I'm speculating, Simon. Yeah. All I'm saying is, look. May Allah bless you, when he died, you rang me. Yeah? You rang me. MashaAllah. You rang me. What rang, what more will you come and pay me a visit today? At between three and four. <laughs> between three and four, my G. Tell me, talk to me, man. I want to uh, literally want to have a combo. Forgive me, because um, I just want to catch your shahada on camera. I'm being, I'm being greedy here. If you want to talk off the camera, that's fine. Because this is, this is, this is, this is just flattening on the side, man. The main thing is the connection, man. The main thing is bringing people away from hellfire towards paradise. And you know about hellfire, man. And you know about. Jannah. Yeah. Man's, man's talking to you in Arabic now. Who would have thought? Someone with all due respect, your background from this part of the wood, and we're speaking in Arabic. Jannah, Jahannam, Allah. Do you know what I And you know what I'm talking about. Shahada. You know what I'm talking know, about. Know, man's all multilingual here. Because the thing is, the brother come up to you. Yeah. 
and I was like, oh, are you ready to become Muslim? And I was just thinking to myself, that, look, you have that Muslim belief in your heart. You just got to say it. And I'm worried about you now. Do you know why I'm worried? Because I would have like, now you're getting to a stage where you're not, you're, I don't even want to say that word, man. No, you say it. The truth is coming to you and you're leaving it now. You're saying, just no, no, just hold it here until Monday. Yeah, Monday will be my final answer. I don't think your answer is going to change. That Iman which is in your heart now is there and it's not going to decrease, inshallah, nor is it going to increase. Your Iman is your Iman, it's there. I believe, inshallah, it's going to increase actually. Let me change it. It will increase, but it's not going to decrease. So why delay it? Right now, from I think it was Boxing Day we met, right? From Boxing Day to now, yeah. If he became Muslim, would you have regretted it? What do you mean? I know you're bigger than me, but don't test me, fam. <laughs> don't test me, fam. Would you regret it? Of course not. Tell me, you boxing day, you go home, you're Muslim. There's barakah in your life. Barakah is blessings from Allah. Yeah? Go home, then it's like suddenly you're on your way home, you're praying to Allah, saying, Ya Allah, uh, soften my mom's heart. Ya Allah, uh, give my mom good health. Ya Allah, bring my mom close to Islam. Ya Allah, uh, make it halal between me and my girl. The reality of it is, that is Alhamdulillah. When you have Iman, Alhamdulillah. All praise to Allah that there's goodness in it. My point is, yeah, you need a good practicing Muslim woman bro, who will treat you right, who fears Allah, who, who loves Allah, who loves the Messenger, and who will know how to treat you. You need that connection with Islam so you know how to treat her. Pain don't last. The Prophet said, we get married for four reasons. You don't even know the hadith. We get married for four reasons. Yeah? One is social status. Yeah? The other is um, how wealthy they are. The other is um, the religion, their deen. Yeah? And the other is how attractive they are. The best reason to marry someone is their deen, their religion. Because yeah? the other three fade away. Money's gonna go, her status might go. Her looks is gonna go. But her religion, that connection, is she gonna bring you closer to Allah? Imagine now, you don't even realize how much Allah blessed you. Wallahi, I can guarantee you, I swear by Allah, you'd be grateful that the way things work out between you and her. Because I can't imagine she been bringing you towards Allah. And then you'd be like, yeah man, I remember bro. Jazakallah khair, we had that conversation. And then see at that point it hurt. I can't imagine it hurts, man. And some expensive flowers as well, my dude. Yeah? The very reality of it is, you best know now, than know later. Now your investment was low. You've lost out on less. What's going through your head, man? Talk to me, talk to me. Ah, no, bro, I don't know. It's just... He damaged a boat uh, of people who helped him travel. Yeah. And he killed this child. And then from an outsider perspective, we'd be like, what, are, what is the connection with all these things? But very simply, very, very simply put. You will kill us! Very simply put, there's a wisdom of Allah behind all of these actions. But from an outsider perspective, we don't know it. Yeah, why are you smiling for something? <laughs> just think. No. Uh, just go JJ, yeah. Over there, yeah. yeah. It's distracting, yeah. it's distracting. Yeah. You can check over there.
حبيبي Musa alayhi salam, he was traveling and Khadir, he was told that, look, this person has more knowledge than me. Yeah. He says, look, I'm going to go with this person to gain this knowledge. Yeah. And he traveled with him. Yeah. While they were traveling, they got on a boat. Yeah. Khidr made a hole in the boat. Musa, he's like, um, why did you use this? Like, You're not going to be able to have the patience to... Um, to travel with me without asking questions so just let's end the combo let's end the traveling yeah because no i'm not gonna challenge your knowledge i'm not gonna question i'm just gonna travel with you so gain your knowledge lose the translation this meaning yeah right. then as i'm um, traveling this guy gave him a lift he damaged the boat he went to a destination to ask him for food um, the etiquettes are when you're a traveler people should feed you should at least give you something to sleep for like three days and so on so forth yeah they didn't support him, yeah? And then there was a wall that was collapsing, he repaired the wall, yeah? So Musa is thinking like, look, someone who helped you, you're damaging his boat. People who are not helping you, you're repairing the wall, yeah? And then the traveling, and then Khitr gets a stone and kills this child. Yeah? And then Musa, Moses is like, he got upset with this, like, why, you, why did you do this? Yeah. And then Khadir went through explaining the wisdom behind it. Yeah. But look, damaged the boat because at that point there was pirates and they were t stealing sh ships that um, were, weren't damaged, were new and so on and so forth. Yeah. So uh, he committed a little bit of damage. Yeah. He caused a bit of harm for long-term goodness. Yeah. The orphans were there. So the wall, um, when it broke down, it would cover the wealth of an orphan. Yeah? So then they repaired the wall. That child was killed because he will grow up to become a disbeliever. Yeah? And then he will take the parents away from Islam. Yeah? This way, Allah will replace him and give them more pious children who will benefit their parents. Yeah? The point I'm trying to make is, sometimes we don't understand Allah's wisdom. Yeah. Allah has the picture, we have the pixel. Your situation, bro, you don't even see the blessing. <coughs> You're thinking, where's the blessing? Yeah. The blessing is, <coughs> you're going to see goodness in her from a worldly perspective. And everything that you think is good about her is very superficial. Give me something real, man. Just about from a distance how she made you feel, from a distance how she looked, from a distance a few interactions you had where she showed good character. What is good character? The ultimate character is the one who is in the submission to Allah. The one who worships the creator of the heavens and the earth. What religion was she in? No, Catholic. Christian. Christian. Yeah. You're on a journey of becoming a Muslim. How was that relationship going to help you? Does that make sense? The fact of the matter is you've been on this journey since 2021. Um, August. What day? You remember the date? When you want to go and tell your mum, look, I want to become Muslim. Yeah, I did tell her that, obviously. Yeah, yeah, I know the conversation went in another way, yeah? So now, we're many years on, what's changed? Your belief in monotheism hasn't changed. The understanding of Allah, you still agree with it. There's one God, one Allah. Allah is different from his creation. Allah deserves to be worshipped. Allah is unique in his names and attributes. The way Allah sees, no one sees. The way Allah hears, no one hears. The way Allah knows, no one knows like Allah. Yeah? Allah deserves to be worshipped. 
Allah is uniquely one. Yeah. Allah is self-sustaining, eternal. Allah is doesn't have offspring, nor is he born. Yeah. And there's nothing equal comparable to Allah. So you've got this understanding of Allah which hasn't changed. Has it changed? Correct me if I'm wrong. Say now nah, I disagree with this part. Oh God, Allah became a man and died on the cross. You don't believe that. If you don't believe that, you don't believe uh, God, Allah is blue with an elephant head and six arms, like the Hindus do. Is that what you believe? Then what's stopping you from testifying that there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah? Tell me! <laughs> Tell me! <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what's worthy of worship except Allah God. There isn't anything, is there? So, do you bear witness that there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah? Monday will be my final answer. Monday, I'll, de I'll definitely... What's changing from now until Monday? Tell me. Real talk, my bro. God. Monday, I'll definitely give you my answer. What's changing from now until Monday? Tell me. Nothing. Just... No. I don't, I don't know. No, no. Real talk. Tell, I want, I'm curious. You're not going to do anything different. It's only going to be a few days' time. What's going to change? You're just going to remain the same. I don't know. You're not going to read anything. Have you read the Quran? A tiny bit. Yeah, so? You're still procrastinating. My point is, you don't need to read the Quran cover to cover to become Muslim. You agree with the fundamentals. You agree with the preservation. You don't disagree with the Quran. You don't reject the Quran. As long as you don't reject the message, you don't reject the Quran, that's sufficient. Yeah. You accept the Prophet Muhammad. Tell me. Does it make sense? The Prophet is so remarkable here. Yeah? I can't even articulate the miraculous nature of the Quran, the linguistic miracle. Yeah. How many verses in Surah Baqarah? 286. Yeah. Now, what's half of 286? I can't shit still. Shit. <laughs> I'm, asking, I'm asking you. Shit, man. No, I'm, sure so. I'm asking you. Because my maths is terrible as well. Yeah. Hold on, I've got family members messaging me, calling me. You're gone? Let me get my calculator out. It's 143, yeah? Now, the Qur'an was revealed over a 23-year 23 23 year period, yeah? It wasn't written down through orally. Allah revealed it to Gabriel, Jibril. Jibril revealed it to the Prophet Muhammad. The Prophet Muhammad spoke it. 
and this happened for 23 years. 23 years. Yeah. Now, Surah Baqarah has got 286 verses. Yeah. In the middle, which is 143, it talks about the middle nation, at the middle of the chapter. How is this possible? It talks about how women, um, mothers, have... Um, talks about the, the wounds that bore you, talks about um, mothers... My brain's, my brain's freezing now, man. It's too cold out here. But, um, like, you know, women have babies. Yeah? So women have... Uh, there's a period where they have how many hearts? Two hearts. Yeah. So it mentions that in the Quran, the language that's used. Yeah. But when it talks about men, yeah, it doesn't say that. Because at no period does, do men have two hearts. Yeah. So that kind of specific kind of language that the Quran is very particular with. You know what I mean? When it talks about angels, yeah, and it talks about devils, the exact same number of times. Talk about heaven and hell, exactly the same number of times. It's easy for me now to put it on an app and Google it and then check how many times it comes up. But how would you have known this? How would how could anyone apart from Allah been able to reveal this over a 23 year, three year period? This is just some of the linguistics, and then when you know Arabic, when you learn Arabic and you know it, then you can see the kind of linguistics even further. So I'm saying that this book affirms the Prophet Muhammad as a messenger of Allah. This man um, conquered lands, yeah, had wealth, however, yeah, in the... lifetime of the Prophet the wealth he had he could have been very rich but he died without a dinner to his name yeah. the Prophet Muhammad when he when you look at his lifestyle you see that look he had so much access to so much wealth yet um, he, he didn't have hot food in his house there wasn't heat coming from the chimneys because he wasn't cooking food so I'm saying to you, look, people offering, I don't know, did I mention this last time as well? So they offered him women, they offered him money, he rejected it. Yeah? And he died upon pure humility. So I'm telling you, what's stopping you now to testify to the fact that this is a messenger of Allah? There's no God worthy of worship except Allah. And the Prophet Muhammad is a messenger of Allah. Talk to me, man. Ah, uh, no. I think Monday will definitely be my final answer. I'll give you my final answer on Monday, 100%. Don't give it to me. Because I'm not going to be here on Monday. I might be, but if I'm not, there's other brothers here you can come and give your final answer to. Is that you? Simon? Pleasure, my bro. You too. Where are you going now? Home. 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 Now let's talk, let's talk. Let's walk and talk. Habibi? Yes. You're leaving? I'm going to go with you.